not bad for a makeshift operating room. I don't foresee any problems with operating here. Let's begin the conference at once. The results of the examinations indicate that these three people require immediate surgery. Each of them has been infected with a different strain of stigma. Hearing that stigma is spreading sends a chill down my spine. This is a first. We'll have to perform three consecutive stigma operations. Do you remember how to deal with each? That's what we've got you for, Lynn. In that case, there's so much that I must look in order to save my country. I can't miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get it over with. We're going with Valerie. Three different strengths. This is going to be a time trial, by the way. patients in a row. This is going to be a crash course in stigma treatment, Maria. It's not going to be easy for us either, but we need to give it all we've got. Okay, let's begin operating on the first patient. This strain of stigma is Soma. They're giving us 10 minutes for this, so... We begin by draining the cellular tissue around the main section, right? exposed use the laser on it the laser is working There we go. The Bank first that patient shit. has been treated. Let's move on to the next patient. We're going faster than we've planned. Amazing. Move on to the second patient. The stigma is breaking on. We'll need to extract the tissue at the tip. If we crush the grapplers with the forceps, the toxins will be slowed.
Let's extract them as many times as we need. Got it. Disappeared. All right. That's two operations completed successfully. Just one more to go. Incredible. We're working much more quickly. The third type is Ops. This is our last patient. Well, at least we don't have some idiot with a microphone shouting at us today. We'll be able to focus. Confirming the presence of Ops. Use the laser on the core. Drain the discharged material. Use the laser on the large discharge. We're almost done. Keep it up until it's all over. The tissue has formed a tumor. The tumor vitals are dropping. Relax yet. Close up the last patient. We finished on schedule. I hope that our operations today will lead to the advancement of medicine in this country. Don't worry, I'm sure they will. Think you can remember all that? I've memorized the steps, but... 
I'm not sure if I'll be able to perform the operation. What's most important is for you to discover your own talents. Don't put so much pressure on yourself that you have a nervous breakdown. You know, there's one thing that's been bothering me. What's that? Why was the outbreak here so sudden? If it had something to do with Calurium, then it should have happened sooner. I just don't get it. Anyway, we need to have a look at that mine. Let's go talk to the commander. He says he'd be glad to tell us the way to the mine. He also says thank you for saving the villagers. That's nice to hear. But tell him that we still have a ways to go before stigma can be prevented. My men and I will escort you there. But it's a dangerous area. We should avoid staying there too long. There's no reason to worry. We have Pepita with us, remember? Besides, it's pretty important. Oh, Tofturi Pasamika. He says that since we have a dog, this might help. It's a towel used by one of the mine workers. Ah, this will keep us on the right track. What is it, Pepita? Is something out there? Let her be. She's probably just barking at shadows. Wow, you're an idiot, man. But I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. I wasn't expecting this mine to look so ordinary. According to Robert, this is the world's only deposit where special microorganisms live in the ore. He also told me that its formation has something to do with bionic alloying. Let's bring a sample back with us, even though we already have some of the imported metal. Valerie, do you think that the stigma here occurred naturally? This is a unique environment, although the ore's been mined here in the past. Regardless, stigma is a bizarre organism. My guess is that it was intentionally introduced to the area. But for what reason? Well... Remember what that bastard Kidman said? Stigma would be the ultimate weapon there. What if this place was targeted? The mine? Yeah, considering the amount of profit it generates, it wouldn't be surprising if they showed up here. Besides, this is the perfect place to test stigma. You're suggesting that Kidman's involved somehow? Pepita? <coughs> We're under attack! Return fire! I don't see them anywhere! Pepita tried to protect us and... Well, at least we saw that one... That one, um, what's it called? Surgery. From, from Val's ex-boyfriend. So maybe we know how to work on dogs. No, Pepita, stay back! Isn't there anything you can do for her, Doctor? She'll go into shock and die at this rate. We have no choice. Well, we're not vets, but we gotta give it a shot. It's all right, Pepita. We'll save you. Let's stay calm and talk this through. I mean, we're in a war zone, so I guess... sure. Multiple pellets have struck her abdomen. We've seen this before. It's a shotgun wound. Looks like she was shot from a distance, though. None of the pellets went all the way through, so they must be embedded inside her. Our goal, then, is to extract the pellets, but have either of you operated on a dog before? Never in my life, but it can't be all that different. Let's remove as many pellets as possible without opening her up, and then suture the wounds. Got it. I'll do my best to help. Please save her. Do what I can. No! 
She's going into cardiac arrest. Get out the defibrillator. But it's designed for humans. Man, shut the fuck up, bitch. Man, we trying to save this dog. We've got no choice. Just lower the voltage. Here you go. You know what to do. I've lowered the voltage. Keep it. No pulse yet. Yes, we have a pulse. But there's hemorrhaging. We need to deal with that immediately. Right, or she'll bleed to death. We'll need to take care of it as we remove the pellets. Keep an eye on the electrocardiogram, too. She may go into cardiac arrest again. Something's wrong with her EK. I see a pellet. Please extract it before the wound hemorrhage. Phew. I was worried there for a second. Come on. Grab it. That takes care of this one. Please get started on the next. Now, we need to treat the wound. Anything yet? But her she's flatlining. Please use the defibrillator. If we calm down, we can do this. All right, the pulse is back. Doctor, something's wrong. Keep looking. any other external injuries. Let's get her back to camp. She's going into cardiac arrest? We have a pulse. Looks like we bought ourselves a little more time. Let's get back to camp and leave the rest to the pro. Good job. I don't think we could have done anything more. You're gonna be all right, Pepita. I wonder if she has any idea at all what we're saying. I'm sure she knows we mean well. Yeah, maybe so. Don't move, Pepita. I'm glad it turned out okay. This is Sergeant Major Lopez. What seems to be the problem? What? Regroup immediately! Doctors, we have a situation. We have to get back to camp immediately. What's going on? The gorillas have attacked. A full-on battle's broken out. All right. Oh.
fellow members of the Kunuruma Liberation Front. You are the true soldiers of this country. The Federal Army no longer upholds truth and justice. The rampant spread of bribery and corruption throughout the government cannot be tolerated. They sell our natural resources for their own personal gain. There is no time to waste. The good people of this country look to us to right these wrongs. The revolution shall arise from here. On the day of base, we shall rebuild Kularumba with our own hands. It's a pretty good speech. I'm sorry, but your visit must be cut short, doctors. This area has become a danger zone. The guerrillas have taken Wanadeo base. The government is launching a campaign to win it back. There's a military base nearby? Its existence has been kept confidential for strategic reasons. But according to our intelligence, Major General Ramirez has double-crossed us. Unbelievable! Our unit has been asked to join the mission the President has ordered. Sounds like a war's about to erupt. What are we supposed to do? Allow me to explain. Mr. President! We will be launching an assault on Wanadeo base momentarily. I would be most grateful if you could tend to any soldiers who are injured in the offensive. We are short on medics, you see. <coughs> we didn't come here to get involved in military operations. However, if we don't intervene, the guerrillas will attack the villagers. How can you recognize the threat of stigma and simply ignore the threat of the guerrillas? Why would they attack the villagers? I represent the citizens of this country. If you continue to defy their will, I will have no choice but to imprison you under martial law. Well, I mean, thanks for giving us the choice. Mr. President, you can't be serious. These three came here with the best intentions. All right, we'll do as you ask. Dr. Vaughn, are you sure, Marcus? But we'll only do it on the following conditions. And conditions. First, you agree to use the profits earned by the mine to help stigma patients. That includes aiding the villagers. If you truly represent the will of the people, then that shouldn't be a problem. Secondly, you must transport all injured combatants, friend or foe, to us. We're not taking sides. Very well. I accept your conditions. No, he doesn't. He's lying. Why the fuck? That just means that anytime somebody's injured, they'll shoot him in the face. Whatever. We're heading to one of them. Progress report, sir. We penetrated the front gate. But we're sustaining casualties. All right. Take the injured to the visiting doctors. What's the status of the enemy? We estimate that they are few in number, sir. However, we have received some disturbing information. Apparently, there are some foreigners providing them with assistance. Who would do such a thing? Arms dealers. Why would the arms dealers get involved? Well, at least they're not journalists. Let's proceed as planned. This really is a war. It's detestable. But I'm afraid it's a reality of the world we live in. Doctor, the first aid tent is filling up with injured men! Looks like the nightmare is only beginning. Come on, let's do what we can. Alright, Edgar. We've gotten word that five patients are headed our way. Or really is hell, isn't it? What condition are they in? The first patient has severe electrical burns on his upper body. He touched electrified barbed wire. Even worse, he's undergoing cardiac arrest from the shock. There's no time to lose. What about the others? We don't have any information yet. <laughs> we'll just have to deal with it. Come on.
It's our responsibility as doctors to do whatever we can. Oh no, it's one of these damn it's skin graft things. Hurry! We'll begin treating his injuries as soon as we get a pulse. The defibrillator is ready. Please begin. Alright, we have a pulse. Let's start treating these electrical burns. Prepare for skin transplants. Inject the culture fluid into the right half of the patient's body to prepare skin for transplanting. Please begin by either injecting the culture fluid or by treating the pools of blood. Place the skin graft before the area begins bleeding again. Remove the port. We can only use unburned skin. The coolant's working. Quickly, remove the burned skin. The burned skin has been removed. Transfer it to the tray. There are still other areas that have turned black. Another pool of blood has formed. The burns turn. Inject the coolant into the skin that's been burned black. Another burn's gotten worse. Hmm. the burned area to cover. Please affix, please move on to the next burn area. Make sure it doesn't get any worse.
Oh, come on, man! us a while it certainly did the next patient is already waiting for us get ready 